Hello friends and welcome again to another AFK journey video. In this video I'll be showcasing the boss, uh, the Croker, and how to deal with him and what's the best lineups for free to play players and the one that wanna min max and deal the most damages for this boss with the units that we have or with low investment if you didn't invest so much into your account. So the most requirement units that I wanna speak about on this boss is specifically and everybody built Cecilia but we're not gonna use her here even a lower ascension OD works better than her it's a big mistake to use a Cecilia and forget about OD if you want to use them both if you don't have Vala she will offer you then that damage if not then the damage will not be that significant if you have a Vala even at one copy of Vala she will help you a lot more than Mary Lee unless you have Mary Lee at Mythic Plus Kruger at Mythic Plus Corrin at Mythic Plus, then these are the three best units to work with Croker. Other than that, you want to focus on DPS with single target high damage burst, which is Vala because she has so much attack speed and you want to have OD. Now, if you don't have Vala, of course, use your Cecilia as a replacement and this will work and it will increase the synergy of two Graveborn and three Maulers. The Maulers that we're going to use are simply Coco, Smokey and OD. OD for DPS. Coco for buffs and some sustain and Smokey for some healing, sustainability and buffs as well. And we're gonna use also Thorin. Thorin is a must have on this lineup. The He's the only one, one that will allow you to deal me. more damage. If not, if anybody that we will tank, they will get one shot by the skill of the boss because the, uh, the boss will kill you immediately. So he have another life so he would re revive and then tank for you a little bit more. Plus he deals and offer a lot of damage. If you have him built, he will deal also incredible amount of damage. This is the main core of the lineup. Now you can use Cecilia if you don't have anybody else or you can use Viperian if you don't have uh, 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 Cecilia built up and Viperian is the one to be built up. But we're using Cecilia if you don't have Vala because Cecilia will drop the Golem, the Golem will offer a little bit and will tank a little bit, will get the buffs from Coco, life drain and defensive buff and attack buff so he will apply more damage than Viperian. So even Cecilia at one copy works better than the others. She's the substitute for now as free to play. If you're free to play, if you're a little bit of a spender and you got a Mythic Plus uh, Corrin or a Mythic Plus uh, Marily, these will be the most the main damage dealers for your lineup. For now, we're gonna use Vala. If you invested in Vala or have one copy of her, she's a better copy than a Legendary Plus Cecilia. So keep that in mind. If your Cecilia is at Mythic, not Mythic Plus, and you have one copy of Vala, Vala will deal even more damage than a Mythic Cecilia. Keep that in mind. We tried this, different accounts, we've seen the damages, the difference, uh, difference between Vala and Cecilia, and Vala offers more. This is why in at uh, Supreme or Mythic Plus, Vala will be insane. So, Vala is our this next damage nice dealer. So let's go to the boss and show you the lineup. So I'm now ranking in the top, I'm still in the top 100 actually, after some hours of playing. And as you see, I almost hit the 5 million uh, uh, damage to this boss, which is a really hard mi milestone for free-to-play players. If you hit the 5 million, that would be awesome, actually, and you'll get the rewards. What we know, what we need to do as free-to-play players, always hit the 40%, because the 40% will allow you to get this box, and you can give another weapon to another unit, and this will help you accelerate on your account and deal even more damage. In story, it will give you more stats and attack and crit Great, which is really awesome. So let's go and buy another attempt. I tried a lot to check what lineups and what synergies. And may, be, be careful for positioning. Positioning is the most important thing here. So I'll be talking about positioning. As you see, I'm playing my lineup this way. Playing this uh, Star Shard spell is really good if you have no good units to spam auto attacks and deal high damage burst with single target units. So if you have an attack speed good unit, you can use uh, uh, this on them. But if you have a high damage burst unit, you need to play this one for the attack speed that they get. And this is what we're doing with Odi. So Odi will be the second highest damage dealer on this lineup. If you have a Kruger and he's not at Mythic Plus, don't play him. Don't bother if you're at Elite. If you're less than Elite, yeah, you can play anybody else. He would tank actually even at level 100 or something like that. But if you get to King, uh, King Croker, just as the position that I have uh, on my free to play, he will not tank a single hit from the boss. He will get one shot by auto attack or two attacks and he will die. Even at, I have all my characters at level 130. So you need to keep that in mind. Don't play him if you don't have him at Mythic Plus. 
Also for Marily, also for Corrin, they don't offer as much damage as they should at Mythic Plus. So here we go, I put Odi in this position, why? Odi initially will not get the buff from Smokey because he's far away. You need them to be three tiles far away from each other. So our Thorin will go here, so there will be different uh, spots. My Vala will jump here and here in the back line. So sometimes he's gonna get hit with the snowball, sometimes he's not, but see, he's not gonna be spammed with the snowball. So Odi is the last one to die on the lineup or second to last, it means Vala could survive more than him. Uh, Coco will be tanking the damage after that from King Croker, after our uh, Thorin dies for the first time and he dies for the second time, Smokey will be healing non-stop and giving you the buff for the entire field. And you can tank a hit from the snowball without getting uh, the buffs of Coco because she will allow you to stay surviving. This is the best positioning for strategy right now that we discovered and we were testing so much. I gave my friends all the uh, advices I told them, use lineups, tell me what the scores that they did. And uh, to my shock, actually, my lineup, this specific lineup worked so far. We have the same Ascension tiers actually on our lineups, except one of them has Marily at Mythic Plus. She's doing insane damage, actually, more than Vala at Mythic. When we got Mythic Plus Vala, she did more damage than her, which is really awesome, actually, to know that Vala is viable and people are forgetting about that. So let's go and check how much damage we can do right now. I hope we get to the 5 million. If not, I hope we don't fail. Sometimes my Coco in some runs can uh, tank. Sometimes she can't tank the damage because of the boss high damage and auto attack spamming on her. So let's go and check if the RNG is with us and we can continue and deal more damage with this. It's a stable lineup. It will get you highly into the top 200 if you have them at the same level, same ascension as us. The first ball, we don't care about it, we're gonna get all the buffs right now. And we did get hit while charging with Thorin. Thorin, when he's charging, we want him to tank nothing else, because as much damage as he take, as much damage as he retaliate to the boss. So now he's dead, so Coco is the one that will start taking the damage. As you see, she's taking the damage, hopefully she can tank, she tanked, she got the buff, it means she will not be hurt anymore. And now we can heal with Smokey a little bit. Now our Thorin will die sadly. And now the ball will go to Vala and Smokey. But Smokey will get it alone. And Vala evaded that because she jumped. We got the buff from Coco. It means Coco she can take a little bit of hits. So it means the next ball also we're gonna tank it. And Smokey will die. But it's okay even if he die. We want Coco to get one more buff before she goes away. And we got the buff so everybody survived. And we're still ramping up damage and getting all the damages that we want. Hopefully we can evade one smoke, one bomb. And we did get and a new number. That's 5 million. This is the positioning that I'm doing. This is the strategy and the gameplay and the logic behind it. I, I wanted a better lineup. So I was talking to my friends to send me clips if they can deal even more damage as free to play on their free to play accounts. And sadly, we didn't get better than this. So this is my advice to you. I'm not saying this is the best lineup in the game or this is the best thing that you can do. But this is so far for my account. And if you're having the same progress, you should do that. And this will help you a lot. Now, again, if you didn't build Vala and you spent more on the normal banner and you got Marily to uh, Mythic Plus, she will substitute Vala and deal even more damage than Vala. Because Vala here is Mythic, not Mythic Plus. So she will not offer that much speed and damage. So it will ramp up even more. Even if you have Corrin at Mythic Plus, he will do insanely good here. So this is how we got here actually. And this is what we need to think about. And this is the most important thing. Now, it will stay in the top 200. It's, it's a little bit hard to cheese it and get more damages. And the only thing that you need to think about is get to the 40% at least. If you got to the 50%, that's awesome for the damage that you're gonna get. But it's for the items so we can build more and more. And if you're gonna go and check how my items look right now, it's absolutely fire. So I have for Vala her weapon at 160. I have for Cecilia for 160. I have for my tank for 160. Why? Because Thorin is a DPS other than a tank. Because he will attack. His, the more attack that he have, the more the retaliation will deal damage with his basic attack. Not without, without the damages that is calculated to him. And we have... By luck, we got these from boxes, from random boxes. So this will help you for the warriors. And the warriors that I care about is Corrin and uh, Kruger, because in the future we're gonna use them as well. So I got two more weapons to equip. So next time I'm gonna get another weapon, I'm gonna put it on my support, another time on my mage, and then we're not needing to have these. We need different equipment for different 
uh, units. And yeah, that was it all that I wanted you to focus and understand. 100% use this artifact, put Odi in the back line, let him uh, be far away from the lineup. He will soak up damage him and Vala alone without your Coco dying or your Smokey dying. And if you get hit by Coco and Smokey while having the Coco buff, your OD and Vala will be alive and sustaining alone, so you will hit even more damage. So it's a win-win situation if you put OD alone on the lineup. So OD is the one that you want to keep him alone. You want to push him alone. Let me just buy a purchase and show you for the last time. You need OD alone. Use this specific lineup and have Smokey in this position. It's crucial to have Smokey in this position than Coco beside him here. If you do Coco here, it will be bad because you will uh, have two tiles between them. It means they can get hit AOE by themselves, all of them. And sometimes uh, Vala will be beside them so they will wipe. This is the best lineup that you can have to mitigate damage from the snowball, to mitigate damage from the auto attacks and to have the best damage and the best buffs on your lineup. And yeah, that was it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, I thank you for watching and as always, stay frosty. Peace!